Hello everybody, welcome. Today we are going to be making this beautiful uh, navy winter blue crab apple design. It could also be um, a blueberry design. So I thought it turned out beautifully. So I had made this arrangement um, using those blue crab apples. I thought it turned out beautifully. And so I wanted to make a wreath to go along with um, this design. So we're going to do that today. The ribbon's going to be just a little bit different because I ran out, um, but we're going to be using this beautiful ribbon to create this coordinating design. So let's go ahead and I'm going to drop you down and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, work on our grapevine a little bit. So this is an 18 inch round. You can use an oval round. I'm just using what I have. Um, this probably came from Michael's or Walmart. Um, it's a little thin in some places. So I wanted to show you guys this in case this is your very first time watching and you're new to working with grapevines. When you have a lot of space in between this grapevine, your picks can go straight through there. So we want to sort of fix that a little bit. So I'm just taking this brown floral wire so it matches the color of my grapevine. We're just gonna add some of this around the grapevine and just pull that together so that it makes it tighter for us, okay? So I'm just gonna go around, and I've already done a couple on this side. I just wanted to show you guys in case you were new um, to working with grapevines, sometimes you gotta, you gotta work with them. Some are better than others. I have not found a really good grapevine place you guys know of any place that has really good thick grapevines, y'all let me know in the comments. Um, I've tried to source them. I think I just cut that right off of there. I did. I've tried to source them wholesale and I just I can't find any that would be, I mean, the price would be just crazy expensive by the time they ship them and then I have to pass that cost on. So, unfortunately, Michael's is the cheapest option. Let me cut a different string because I cut that one too short. Um, if you buy in bulk at Michael's, you can get a pretty good discount. My um, friend Cara from Enchanted Vines sort of gave me that tip. You can buy in bulk. And you get them for like, I don't know, less than $4. I mean, you can't beat that price. So Sometimes you just got to... Give them a little love before you work. Okay, the next thing that I want to show you guys in case you are a first time watcher is how I add my hanger to my wreath. Okay, so I'm just gonna find kind of where I want the top to be. And I'm just gonna take, this is just a paper wrapped wire. You can use one of these or just use um, heavy duty floral wire, whichever you prefer. And I'm just gonna run that through the grapevine. Give it a twist. Let me turn this camera just a hair so you're not, there we go. You're not gonna try to get the top of my head so much. I guess it needs to go this way. Top of my head isn't pretty to look at. Unfortunately, sometimes you're going to see it just because I got to bend over. Okay, and then I just ran it up the other side. And now I have a little hanger. Okay, easy peasy. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to we're going to cheat a little bit today. A um, little different than what I normally do my grapevines, but we're going to use these mixed pine bushes. Um, they are really nice and full, and I love it when you get these and they do a lot of the work for you. Now, a lot of times I would cut these up and I'd place them kind of where I want them. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to slide this whole, this whole thing in there, just like that, and we're going to zip tie. Okay, so... Let me get a zip tie here. Do I have any brown ones? Yes, I do. 
Okay, so, oh my gosh, I just spilled them all in the thing. And y'all, I bought me some um, drawer organizers. I am so excited to get those in because my drawers are a hot mess. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this zip tie, go through there. And tie that stem in and then we'll give it some glue. We'll get the other one in first. Okay, so we've got that zip tied in. We're going to take another one. And I'm going to weave that through there. Let me make sure, yeah, see my through. I actually want it to come down a little bit more. Put those little strings over there. I actually want it to come down a little bit more. I'm gonna go through this. And I can tell you this is going to be too tall for my liking. I'm just going to give it a bend. Okay, you can just manipulate those. Manipulate those branches like you want them. For now, I'll leave those pine cones. I might have to... Um, Cut them out when we get our bow added, but we'll see. Okay, so let me get that one zip tied in as well. Okay. And you can see right where our bow is gonna go. Bow's gonna go right there in the center. So let me go ahead now and have a little bit of glue in there. Okay, and we have our base, and look at how full that is just with those two mixed pine sprays. Love it. All right, let's get our bow made. So I am going to be just using this navy. I wanted to use my one inch fair silk um, navy blue, but I ran out, and they do not have any in stock right now. So I'm just going to go in with this. Uh, this navy blue here. I don't know if we have them in stock, but use whatever color you want to go with. I am doing a blue um, winter theme. I'm going to make this tail just a little bit longer. We can cut it down if we need to. Okay, I'm just going to pinch going to make a loop, pinch, okay, I'm going to twist, make a loop, and pinch. Let me make sure they are about the same size. Make this one just a hair longer. Okay. And twist. Now this one technically you wouldn't have to twist. It's pretty much the same on either side, but I just get in the habit of doing it. We're going to go up maybe half an inch. Twist. Pinch, twist. We just drop this to the floor. It's easier that way. And about half an inch again. And 
And you could definitely use the Easy Bow Maker as well. That has been my friend for many, many years. Still is. But when I'm doing just one ribbon, I have gotten to where I can kind of do it okay without the, the bow maker. And I'm just continuing to go up about half an inch. I think we'll do... Let's do one more loop. So we're going to be at uh, five loops on each side. I mean, five loops up, five loops down. So 10 loops all together. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and just snip this tail because I'm going to add my tail later where I want it. So I, we are just going to have one tail right now. I snipped it, but we will get it added back um, here in a little bit. So now I'm just going to take my pipe cleaner and twist. And then I am going to get it on a pick. You can tie it in if you prefer. I'm just going to take a wooden floral pick here. And get it tied in there. Okay, and I'm going to add some glue. I don't need this pick that long. I, I'm out of my shorter ones, so I'm going to have to order some more. So we're just going to cut this, cut that down a little bit. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to let this glue dry for just one second so I don't stick my fingers in it. I'm tired of getting myself burned. So I'm going to let that set for just a second. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and remove this bottom pine cone. We'll add it back later, but I want to get my bow in here. I'm just going to hit that with some glue and I'm going to put a little bit of moss in there just to kind of help hold it. See what I'm doing here? I'm just going to put some moss in there. Right around that glue. Push it down into that hole where that pick is, just to give it a little bit of support here. We're gonna we're gonna put some greenery in there to help our help support that as well, but that'll just help. Okay, so before I Fuss too much with the bow. I do this every time with my ring on this pine. We're just going to anchor our bow. So I'm going to go in. This is just another mixed pine bush. Um, it's different than the one we used um, on our base, but it has a lot of the same, a lot of the same type of branches. It's just got little different pieces in it. So I will have all the supplies listed down in the description of the video. I'm going to try to do this without picks. Um, I may have to pick it, but on these grapevines, especially when they're thin like this, it scares me to use those picks because they go through the grapevine and I don't want anybody to get cut. Um, you know, we can try to cut them if they go through, and I do. It's just, uh, I've cut myself doing that, so I try to 
and get it in there without using them if I can. So I'm just going all the way around right next to where we put that pick in there, pushing these down in the grapevine, north, south, east, west, and getting that bow anchored. Now I may have to use a pick on this one just because we have that zip tie. I have a lot of things going on right there. Get this little green green bit out of here. I'm gonna have to put a pick on that one. So I'm trying to go weave it into the grapevine so that it doesn't go through the grapevine. just take some of this um, mixed pine pieces that we have. I'm just going to fill in a little bit. Fill some in around the side over here. I get one more piece right in here. that bow and just give it a bend. Okay, we're going to play with our bow here some more in just a little bit. Still filling in with this pine. Put a piece right in there. Flip you guys to this view for just a little bit. So I am just filling in, filling in with this mixed pine. Okay, so it's starting to come together really nicely. So we're going to stop. I got a few more pieces and I may actually go get another one of these um, mixed pine bushes if we need it. 
Um, but we're gonna go in now. This is a wintry um, blue crabapple design. I wanna bring in some of this cedar. If you wanted to keep it all green, you definitely could. If you do not want to bring in any of the white. But I'm going for a wintry design, which of course the pine is still wintry, but I wanna bring in some of the white. So I am going to, I kept these um, sort of in some clusters. So when you get the cedar spray, let me show you guys. It comes like this. And I just pulled it off and I cut them into three sections. So we may, um, as we, after we get our bigger pieces in, we may cut them into smaller pieces, but I want to get some of the bigger sections added first. So I'm going to go right in here. Oops. Came right off my pick. Y'all see that? So let's repick that. Let's try this again. The pick is not on there. It's a thick stem, so I may have to repick it again. There we go. Let's save that little bit that fell off. I'm gonna go right towards the inside a little bit. Try to push my pick sort of through. So it doesn't, I mean, like into the grapevine, so it doesn't go straight through the grapevine. That makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna take this piece. And I want it, I want it to hang down. So I want it to hang down in there. So I need to go into the grapevine right in here. And it actually just went in there good for me. So I'm just gonna hit it with the glue without pulling it back out. It's not pretty. I love these snowy cedars mixed with that pine. Gorgeous. Okay, let's take another piece here. I'm gonna go that right in there. So I'm gonna hit that, the glue without pulling it out. Beautiful. And we'll kind of mix these together a little bit. I'll probably go get one more. We'll see. We'll see. I say that, but we make it just. We may add one more mixed greenery bush, but let's not get ahead of myself. Okay, now I'm going to probably take and cut up some of these into smaller bits to go along the side because I don't want a, let me cut this one up. Let me just see, as I said, I don't want, this actually doesn't look bad though. Okay, we'll keep it together. I changed my mind. Changed my mind. Okay, 
Okay, so you see we are we just filling in the sides now. But I probably, like I said, I probably will get another mixed pine so that we can put a little bit more pine underneath the cedar right in this area here. And then we'll have it for additional filler. But I think we need a little bit more right in this area. I'm getting, I, I should have known never to, I do this every time I film these, you guys, with this white flock. I always wear a black sweater, which I should know better. Um, and then I end up getting this flocking all over me. And we have to go to town later, so I have to break out the um, lint roller thing. See if I can get it off. Okay. Got that one in there without a pick. I'm gonna hit it with my glue. Okay, so we're just working our way all the way around, adding the cedar in here, work on the top. I'm going to hit that with a little bit more glue. Okay, let's get another one. So I am at three of these. I'm using the third one. So, so far we have used two of our nice thick mixed pine sprays for our base. I used one, a different mixed pine spray for filler. And now I have used, we're going to be using probably three of our cedar. And this piece came off, so I'm just going to keep that over there. knocking stuff off over here okay now we're gonna go we've done outside now i'm gonna work on adding some here on the inside so i'm gonna take these little bits that came off i will have to put them on a pick because this there's no stem really Just going to carefully try to weave this through the grapevine. Sorry, you guys are getting my head. There we go. We still get, we're going to work on our bow here in a second, too. We've got to still give it some more lid. Get another piece here. Okay, so we've added some there. 
towards the inside. Now I want to get some around my bow. So let's see. I think I'm going to try to keep this one. Go straight down into that grapevine. I can find a find a spot right there. I think is going to work. Push that down in there, and I don't want to pull it back out, so I'm going to hit it with my glue there. I'm going to go on this side, do the same thing. So we're giving it some good movement now. I'm going to add a piece right in here. Let's see if I can get it in there. Okay, let's get this pine cone added back. I think we're going to add it right there. Now, this is not the same pine cone I pulled off. This is the one I pulled off, but I went ahead and already have one on a on a pick. So I'm just going to use this one. And I just took a all I did was just take a uh, scrap stem and just glued it on there. And get that added right in there. Okay, I have a couple of these little scrappy bits. I want to get added into our bow. So I'm just going to glue those right in there. They're not going to go into the grapevine. I'm just gluing them right next to that. Let's get one on this side. So it's just glue into the ribbon, really. I think we might need another little piece of this right in, right in here. Yeah, I like that, right in there. Beautiful. Now one more piece of cedar. I think we're gonna put it over in this area right up in here. There we go. I'm going to run grab one more of those 
mixed pine so we can add a few more pieces up under here and I'll be right back. So we won't use all of this because you can see this is a, this is a, let me flip you guys so you guys can see. This is a big mixed pine spray. So this is what I cut up the first time and we used. Now I'm just going to take a couple of these pieces um, for filler. We won't use the whole thing. So you'll have, you'll have some more of it left for another project. And again, this is completely optional if you like it um, or if you spread your greener out a little bit different than I do, than I did, uh, you might not even need it. But I'm going to go right under here. And I'm probably going to need it on the I'm trying to get in a great line, but it is pretty full right in this area. Need that pick to go. There we go. Just giving that a little bit of a bend. Okay, I'm just adding some more greenery right in here underneath that cedar. Add another piece up here around my bow. Y'all, I just squirreled, sorry. My ADD was kicking in. But I saw these pieces around the bow that I want to take care of. We'll come back to that little cedar part in a second. our original scheduled programming. Let's finish up around the cedar part. And then we still have our blue crab apples left to add, which to me look like blueberries, but they are not. I didn't even know they had blue crab apples. I had to Google it. But my pick, I thought they were blueberries and I had made an arrangement um, a centerpiece and so when I was adding the supplies together I noticed that the pick said crab apple spray. And the whole time I was thinking it was blueberries. So if you don't have crab apple spray you can use the blueberries because they look the same to me. Trying to get this in here. It's being a little difficult. There we go. Because there's so many stems there. Okay, I'm going to do probably one more piece underneath that cedar. Maybe two. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good there. Let's get our crack apples added. And we're just gonna add a few little hints of them. We're not gonna get carried away. I know that's hard to believe with, with me. Uh, Cause for me, more is more. But I'm gonna really try to keep this, um, just a few of these. I'm 
to go in right here underneath. Trying to get it. I may have to put a pick on it. Yeah, because I don't want that falling out. There we go. Hit that with the glue. Okay, so I just put one little section right there. Let's get another piece. See, don't these look like don't these look like blueberries? But they are Regency's Crab Apple Pick. Now, we do not have any more of these in stock. This is something we had probably two years ago. And I just had some of them left up in my stash, so I'm using them. Um, so like I said, look for any type of, if you can't find crab apple picks, just look for blueberry sprays. And you'll be looking like the same thing. Okay, so I put another piece right here towards the center. Get a piece and try to go right up underneath here. So it's just kind of poking out, poking out right here. Y'all just heard that? That was my dog snoring. I have, we have a little, well, we have three dogs. But I have a little, um, okay, I'm gonna put one right here. I like how that just kind of is hanging down. So we have three dogs. We have a German Shepherd, female, Miss Piper. She is the sweetest little German Shepherd ever, but she is, you would think she's got malinois in her. She is just got to be moving all the time. She's got to be working, moving. She does not sit still. Then we have our little rescue. I say little, he's a big old rescue. We adopted him from the shelter. And we don't really know what he is, but the vets we have talked to seem to think that he is lab mixed with maybe Great Dane. He is a big old boy and he is a big old baby. Um, and then we have the one who um, runs the nest, rules them two large dogs, which is our little Pomeranian Yorkie. She is the boss. And she's the one that's in here that is snoring. So I'm gonna go right probably in this section here. See if I want it there or more towards the bow. Ooh, like both. I'm gonna put it there. We may add a little piece up by our bow. Okay, so that's just kind of peeking out there. One more left. I'm trying to just use the three of these. If I have to get another one, I will, but I really just want it to be a hint. So I'm going to put this one kind of got a little bit of a hole right in here. See that? So I just put that right there. I'm going to add 
another piece right in there, kind of poking through. I have one more. I have to be very strategic where I place it. I want it kind of there, but then I also kind of want some up in our bow. I think we're going to do it over here. Let's go ahead now and let's add our other tail back. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna get our tail and we're just gonna add it back manually where we want it. So I'm just going to pinch it. Just gonna pinch it like that. And I'm gonna get it added to a pick. Now, if you don't have a pick machine, you can do the same thing just a floral pick. Of course, all mine are stuck together, but just these little floral picks. Just, you know, put it on there and wrap that little wire or wrap a little pipe cleaner around it. I kind of get it added right in here. Let me before I glue it, let me just make sure that's where I want it. I think so. Okay, I'm gonna hit that with the glue in there. And I think I'm gonna add a piece of greenery right there to kind of help. Give our little tail some support. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with another piece of our green in here. Let me get another glue stick. I'm just going to give that greenery a little bit of a bend. And that will help support our tail. Now let me cut these at a diagonal. I'm going to leave this one longer. Get a nice little curl to them. Let me see if I want to add any more tails. Could add one to the center. You could even, if you wanted, you could even, um, even come up in here and make like a little bridge. I don't think I am on this design, but you definitely could. Just try to see if I want another little tail here. I think I, think I do. I don't normally do three tails, but um, I think it kind of looks good. We're gonna go for it. I'm just gonna lift this up here and get this added through our grapevine. I'm going to make sure it's going through in my, um, like in, but not through. Does that make sense? Into our grapevine, not all the way through our grapevine. Oh, and I did not have that in there, did it? Because it came right out. Let's try that again. I 
Okay, I think I got it that time. When I get this hung up, if I don't like that, I'll just I'll just take it out. I can always take it. I need one more longer piece of pine right in here to fill this little space. I am going to pull this tail out. It needs to go up higher. So I'm going to put it closer to the center of our loops here. Before I glue that, let me make sure I have it in there. I do. Okay. Now I'm going to hit it with my glue. Hey y'all, this is our finished design and I wanted to show you something because I got so busy designing I forgot to pay attention to where my hanger was and this has happened to me before and I'm sure it may happen to you guys. So no worries. Just take that hanger off and redo it because I had my hanger way over here and I got to design in this way and didn't pay attention to where my hanger was. So, okay, so here is our beautiful um, winter blue crab apple or blueberry, um, grapevine winter design. I think it turned out beautifully. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you are new to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have a new tutorial. And if you're interested in this design, um, just go to our website, tctcrafts.com. It will be available for sale. Um, typically, most of my arrangements that I make here are also available. Maybe you are don't have the time or just not interested in making your own. We will have it available on the website as well as the supplies. So check the description down below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys try it, share your photos. I would love to see them. So until next time, bye y'all.